Hey guys, it's Bailey from Making Up the Midwest, and this is going to be a quick unbagging of my August Ipsy Glam Bags. If you want to see what's inside, see a demo of each of the products, and hear my overall thoughts on them, please continue watching. The theme for this month is beauty school, so appropriately, you receive a pencil pouch for your bag. It seems very durable. It's made of sort of a plasticky consistency with these cute orange polka dots. Even if you're not in school, it's great to repurpose as a brush holder when you're going, when you're on the go, or a liner holder. It's just a great makeup bag in general that is very com nicely compact with a lot of room in there. The first thing I want to talk about is an extra in this month's bag for me. It is a Teeny Beauty Cream Eyeshadow, and as usual, I'm wearing everything that I'm about to talk about on my face today, and I will have demos of them throughout the video. This is Teeny Beauty Shadow Tint in the shade Ambrosia. This is closer to a mousse texture. Ambrosia, I would say, is kind of a frosted mauve. It's a great one and done color. This is all I'm wearing on my lids right now, and I think it creates some nice dimension across the lids. The one thing is that if you wear it unprimed, it will crease. I'm wearing it unprimed today, and you can see I've, I haven't been wearing it for that long. It's already starting to crease a little bit, so definitely you're going to want to prime with this. And for some, you might even want to set it with a shadow, whether that's translucent or just use it as an eyeshadow base because this is so deep, you can really use it to build up the pigment of your eyeshadows as well. Now back to the regularly scheduled programming, what a lot of you might have gotten this month is an Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. Now this is the exception to the rule that I'm wearing everything. This is one thing I'm not wearing because I've already reviewed it and long story, oh, I'll link to that in the info bar below if you are curious as in seeing that review because I also review it with the primer that comes with the full size version of this. Long story short, I am not this mascara's biggest fan. I really didn't find it did much for my lashes. The formula is somewhere between both wet and dry, and it just didn't coat my lashes thoroughly enough to really build up length and volume. It created more clumps for me. Um, the wand was too soft to really feel like product was getting thoroughly on my lashes. So in general, this was not a winner mascara for me, but if you want more information as well as before and after pictures, be sure and check out that review. Up next is a lip balm. This is from Jersey Shore Sun in uh, Mongongo, I think is what it's called. This is what I use before I put all my makeup on as I was putting my makeup on to help really condition my lips and soften them up for the lip color I'm wearing right now, which did not come in this Ipsy bag, but in case you were curious, is one of the new Smashbox B Legendary Longwear Lip Lacquer. This is in the shade Coral, just for those who are curious. This is what I use to prime my lips for that, and I have to say it really did the job effectively. It made my lips feel nice and smooth, so, you know, it was a great addition to this month's bag. Up next is a product that actually it's one of two products in this month's bag that I've already tried due to receiving them in a birch box, go figure. This is Chlorane's Extra Gentle Dry Shampoo with Oat Milk. I love this stuff and I especially love that it's in this travel size container because I love taking it on the go when I travel. Normally I have lots of product to help my hair look and feel a little thicker because I have fine hair. So I could take this to go with me and it's kind of a one and done product. I put it at my roots, which I'm sure I'm showing now, spray it at my roots, kind of muss my hair up a little bit and it just adds a little bit of texture without having to put all that pre-product on when my hair is damp. Stuff that I don't want to pack. So this is great to, great for on the go, but it's also great for day after, second day, third day hair that you really want to refresh and zhuzh up. Next is again a product that I had tried in a birch box. It's from the brand Manicadar and it is the Sheer Glow Shimmer Lotion. I'm not sure there's a shade here. Uh, oh, it's in Get Glowy, I think, but it has this kind of slightly pink iridescence. Not overwhelmingly pink because I did use it today as my highlighter. I applied my liquid foundation and then I took my same liquid foundation brush, put a little bit of this on the back of my hand and then stippled that on the tops of my cheekbones, up and down the bridge of my nose and called it good for highlighting. And I have to say it does create a really natural natural, nice looking highlight across the face. The thing I love about this is the versatility. You can also mix it with your foundation as well as use it all over your body. If you're going out for a night, you can use it to highlight your collarbones, wherever it is, your shoulders, put it everywhere. And this was a great size to receive to really get to try all those functions out. Moving on to the last product, it is an eyeliner from the brand Lord & Berry. And as you can see, it's a little sample size black eyeliner right here that I am again wearing today. I drew it across my upper lash line and then went in with a pencil brush to really smudge it out. It is very it's relatively emollient. For being in a wooden pencil, which I kind of always associate with very dry, brittle formulas, it was surprisingly emollient, easy to blend across my upper lid without having to tug, which you never want to do in your eye area. But as far as being, you know, this extraordinary black eyeliner, 
I didn't so much find that to be the case, but it was a nice basic addition to this bag and great to try out from a new brand because I don't think I've ever tried anything from the brand Lord & Barry. I've heard of them, seen them around, but never actually tried anything. So it was kind of nice to get to experience a little something from this brand. So that is everything that came in my August Ipsy bag. Thank you guys so much for watching. As usual, I would love to hear what you got in your subscription services in the info bar, in the info bar, in the comment section below. Thanks again for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.